So let's talk about the recent Ice Hockey World Championship win that Finland got once again. So if you have been living under a rock or not living in Finland where it's not as big of a deal, I guess, um, Finland just won gold in the Ice Hockey World Championships. Now this is a semi-rare occasion. Finland has a good ice hockey team and usually does fairly well in all of the competitions, um, but this time we actually won gold and it often gets snatched from us just like it did with the women's world championships where we were supposed to get gold but we got robbed. Anyways, not bitter about that still. Um, so yeah, we won in 1995, we won in 2011, and now again 2019. So let's talk a little bit about this because it is quite a big deal for Finland. You know, ice hockey is the biggest sport in Finland. Um, it's something that a lot of people are very invested in. It's a very national, it's a national sport, I guess. I don't know. It's just, you know, if you're, if there's a big game on and you go walking out in the street, at least in my neighborhood, it's dead quiet because you bet, you can bet that everybody is inside watching the game. Literally everyone. Um, there might be like a couple of stragglers walking their dog, but for the most part, it's dead quiet outside because everybody is inside watching that game. Yeah, so we won, we won gold, but what does that mean? What happens in Finland then? Well, Unfortunately, I wasn't present, but every time Finland does really well internationally and succeeds and wins at something, there tends to be a party in like the central market, which is where the phrase Torilla Tavataan or Suomi Mainittu Torille or something like this, that's where this phrase stems from, which you can check out the meaning in my video on my other channel. But in any case, Unfortunately, I wasn't there, so I had to live this celebratory experience through other people's videos and pictures. So, for example, this channel has a great video which kind of um, dives into the center of this celebration and kind of get, gives you the feeling of what it was like to be there in person. So basically, all night long, there are people partying. There's people like in center of Helsinki, you know, running around half naked. There was even naked people running around, people drinking, you know, playing in the water fountain. People were going crazy. Like, it's a big deal when Finland wins and everyone is so proud. So then, of course, this party, you know, keeps on going till the next day. Where at, was it 6 p.m. in Kaisaniemi? In Kaisaniemi, there was, which is in the center of Helsinki. So that is when there the police or according to like the news sites there was about 50,000 people that had gathered there to celebrate they had made up a stage you know they had all kinds of uh singers performing like Yivege and Nelly Matula and Teflon Brothers so they had performances uh they had the hockey team come up and go on stage greet the fans, you know, celebrate on stage with everyone else, showing off the trophy. We even had the president come and like thank the players and, you know, give a little talk. So like it was a pretty big deal and also my parents and my family actually went there too and in Rautatientori, so the center train bus station, they have like these two stone figures on the side of the train station which are like, I don't know, kind of like a famous symbol I don't famous <laughs> um but they had put like little helmets on them that said kitos so like thank you and yeah it was just again I wasn't there so I can only r live this moment through photos and videos as well but it looked like it was a great atmosphere people were like singing and screaming yelling partying drinking um, there were all sorts of people, you know, there were grandmas, there were like students, there were, you know, moms with their babies there, like everyone was invited, everyone was excited, wearing their like Suomi Paitas, Finland shirts, and um, yeah, just having a great time, people like, very prideful moment, you know, everyone seemed like very proud of Finland, it really brings the country together, you know, people had like their Finnish flags painted on their shirts, wearing a lot of blue and white, um, getting very excited. And Alexi himself actually gave me permission to use some of his IG stories because he was actually there when the partying took place. And he's actually 
Um, he said he's making a street interview from that time, so go check out his channel because he will probably soon, semi-soon, be uploading a video where he talks to people on the street during these celebrations to kind of get the feeling of what people were feeling like at the time. So that's going to be really interesting, so look forward to that. Oh, another thing I guess I was gonna mention is a lot of videos and stuff you'll hear, hear people shouting like Merka, Merka, or like people talking or referencing to someone called Merka. And if you're a bit confused about what that means, basically what it refers to is a guy called Marco Antila, who has been the captain of the Finnish, this Finnish national ice hockey team that just won. So he was the captain of the team this year. And basically, his, they gave him the nickname of Merke, which kind of translates to, I'm gonna say it's kind of like a monster. Now, the Wikipedia said boogeyman, or like boogeyman, but I feel like it's a bit more like monster, but not in like a, like, I don't know, Merke is kind of a cute way, so I think monsters incorporated, but I don't know if that's the supposed to be the meaning of that like cutesy monster but I don't know Merka just like kind of reminds me of a cutesy monster but anyways I think the like to me Merka means more like monster but you know but the meaning behind that was more I think it's more because he's like quite a big guy and as well he did score the winning goal in the Russia Finland game so well there was only one goal and he was the one that scored that which meant that they proceeded into the finals and he also scored two out of the three goals in the final game so you know effectively he was you know a big part of Finland winning the gold so everyone's like super excited for him and super proud of him and they're like yeah you know he did Finland proud so that's why everyone's like super obsessed with him at the moment and like Merga um yeah, so that is the explanation for that if anyone was wondering. So yeah, I just wanted to have a quick little chat about that since it is quite a topical conversation to be having at the moment and I'm super excited for the win. You know, it doesn't happen that often. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to be in Finland for it, but it has been great living through everyone else's experiences and the excitement is quite contagious. So, you know, even though I'm not there and I didn't have the chance to join in the celebrations in Finland, you know, and obviously Edinburgh, and Scotland people don't really care about hockey <laughs> but anyways it was fun to see people's videos and I also like a lovely follower of my Instagram sent me some pictures as well um, that you can see here thank you for giving me permission to use them in my video I loved your thoughtfulness for sending them to me because you knew I wasn't able to be there in person so the gesture was much appreciated and so yeah, I guess I'll wrap things up. Um, go Finland, and I guess that just about concludes this video, so until next time.